Good morning, everyone, and happy Thursday. It is Julie here with your Tip Ranks pre-market morning update, where we're bringing you everything you need to know before the market opens. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back, and thank you all so much for being here. As usual, this morning, we'll be taking a look at exciting stock market news, notable earnings reports, and which stocks are the morning's biggest gainers and losers. Don't forget to stop by the TipRanks website to check out the new ETF research tool. You can see details on nearly 7,000 ETFs, including carefully calculated price targets and a breakdown of all of their holdings. Links will be in the description down below. Now let's get right into this morning's exciting stock market news. U.S. stock futures are mixed this morning, but leaning towards the red as volatility in the banking industry continues. Right now, Dow futures are down 0.44%, S&P 500 futures down 0.33%, while Nasdaq futures are up 0.14%. Part of that banking volatility includes Credit Suisse. They're actually in the green this morning after big losses earlier this week as the bank said that they could access a loan from the central bank and borrow as much as $54 billion. Credit Suisse said that accessing the 50 billion franc loan offer from the Swiss central bank was a decisive action that would preemptively strengthen their liquidity. Buying back their own bonds will also allow them to take advantage of current trading levels to repurchase debt at attractive prices. Their volatility follows their largest shareholder, the Saudi National Bank, saying they wouldn't invest any more money into the lender, but their chairman said that the panic over Credit Suisse is unwarranted. The stock is currently rated a hold amongst analysts, with a recent buy rating coming in just yesterday. Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway has scooped up more Occidental Petroleum, this time purchasing nearly 8 million shares. That purchase cost them over $466 million, bringing their total stake to about $12 billion, or 23% of the energy company. This follows additional big purchases within the last month, fueling speculation that Berkshire Hathaway could be intending on purchasing the entire company. Analysts currently rate the Occidental stock a moderate buy with an average upside of 28%. Shares of Meta Platforms and Snap are on the rise as the U.S. White House puts pressure on their competitor, ByteDance, the parent company of TikTok, to sell the U.S. TikTok arm or face banishment. The Biden administration has threatened a ban if the TikTok Chinese owners do not divest their stake in the video sharing app. They argue that the app poses a potential national security threat by virtue of its Chinese ownership. And First Republic Bank is exploring its strategic options, which could include a potential sale. The bank, which has been cut to junk ratings by some, is exploring options for shoring up their liquidity. It is speculated that the bank could draw interest from larger rivals, but no decision has been reached and the bank could still choose to remain independent. Their shares have plunged nearly 80% in the past week following the failure of Silicon Valley Bank, all surrounding liquidity issues. Analysts do currently rate their stock a moderate buy, and we do have some very bullish price targets coming in recently. Now moving over to notable earnings reports. In the after hours today, we'll be hearing reports from FedEx, Groupon, and Meta Materials. In the pre-market this morning, we've heard from Dollar General. Their stock is down slightly after they posted mixed results. The company's spending plans for the year ahead also exceeded expectations and their comparable sales disappointed. They reported Q4 earnings per share of $2.96, coming in just ahead of analyst estimates, and revenue of $10.2 billion missed expectations by $40 million. Analysts currently rate their stock a moderate buy with an average upside of 13.5%. In the after hours last night, we heard from Adobe. Their stock is on the rise this morning after their earnings and revenue beat. The company also boosted their full year outlook. They reported Q1 earnings per share of $3.80, beating expectations by 12 cents per share, and revenue of $4.66 billion grew over 9% year over year, beating expectations by $40 million. Their stock is currently rated a moderate buy with an average upside of 15%. And then we have UiPath. Their stock is on the rise, up over 14% after their better-than-expected guidance and earnings and revenue beat. Along with higher future guidance, they also saw their annual recurring revenue of $1.204 billion increase 30% year-over-year. 
Their Q4 earnings per share of $0.15 cents beat expectations by $0.08 cents per share, and revenue of $308.5 million came in nearly $30 million ahead of expectations. Their stock is currently rated a moderate buy with an average upside of about 29%. Now let's take a look at which stocks are the morning's biggest gainers and losers. Our biggest gainers this morning are led by UiPath following their earnings. Trading under the ticker PATH, their stock is now up over 16%. They're followed by Certera under CERT up 9.4% and the Hasai Group under HSAI up nearly 7%. And our biggest losers this morning are led by First Republic Bank on their liquidity uncertainty. Trading under the ticker FRC, their stock is down 26.5%. They're followed by Banco de Chile under BCH down 9.4% and Western Alliance under WAL actually down a bit more at 10%. So that is going to be everything for Thursday's pre-market morning update, getting you up to speed with what you need to know before that opening bell. If you made it to the end of today's video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and say good morning in the comments. I always appreciate hearing from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you back here next time.